Mä oon Vikke Brynderin, eli Brymirin poppoosta ja te katsotte jotain Arskan ja Pertin jotain vittua heavy jotain show was super good. It's funny because um, I put the intro on and it was still raining like pretty hard and I had to take a leak. So I went out from the, the roof and I went in the corner and took a leak and it was actually like raining and I thought, okay, so people are gonna stay in the tent. But when I came to stage, it just like, you know, stopped raining a little bit and people were crawling out from the... Because I, well, I arrived here and I didn't see how much people there were around. It's raining. But then suddenly it was like a proper crowd and things went really good and we had a super nice show. It was really good because this rain also kind of like took away all the stress because you like kind of expected to play to a basically an empty, you know, dance floor. But then people just crawl out from the beer tents or whatever and it turned out nice. So we had a really good time and it went really well. We had the substitute guitar player who did a good job filling in for Jona. Yeah, I agree. I think he did a wonderful job. Yeah, large shoes to, to fill out, but he nailed it and feeling great about it. It depends on, on the next day, what's, what we're doing. We, have, we used to drink a few beers before the shows, like in the past, but then we now start to do this like kind of zero. We don't get drunk before the show at all, so we do, like, do the show, and then you take a few beers to, you know, lit up the steam. But sometimes it depends on the CD and the context, you know. It's always, if there's a party going on, then we might go partying and, you know, cool bros around, check some beers, but... It depends, but usually we like to have a, a small, you know, regrouping after the show to just talk about how it went and, and um, if you had any problems or, or whatever, just, you know, go through the, the thing. So we start with that and then we see what's going on. But usually there's a few beers, you know, involved. <laughs> Always a little bit of fun. Always a bit of fun. It has to be fun, you know. Any sauna after the show? If there's one around, for sure. I heard rumor there's a sauna here, so I think that's where we're heading pretty soon, though. It's a must, eh? It's a must. Like, if there is a sauna, you will you will go there. Like, the best... It's it's really cool here. Some of the good venues here, like the bigger ones, they actually have saunas, like, somewhere in the backstage. Like, Clubi Tampere or... Teatria Aulu, you know, you actually, you know, you go to play the show and, you, you know, instead of just taking a shower or whatever, you actually go to sauna. Yeah, it's, it's different. The culture is really different. In Japan, the, the crowd is, they're, they're um, in a way more engaged with the show because they don't come to a, a show to, to, to drink beer and, you know, get a night out. They actually come to a show to watch the show. And uh, that's really cool because you, they actually, you know, pay attention to what you do. So if they're solo, they're really, they're quiet, you know, and it's uh... But the thing you have to also keep in mind, I like to make this uh, kind of, you know, I'm a dad joke person. And I like to make this kind of, you know, really clever jokes on stage. And you forget it in Japan because most people don't speak that good English. So, you know, you can, you know, they you can communicate with the crowd. But if you, if you make a really clever dad joke, they won't perhaps understand it so well and I you know I did it every night anyways you know it's just it's in my blood so that's that's different but it's really cool when the crowd is is, is really focused on what you do here it's more of a culture of you know you go partying you get chuck some beers and you're like blocking out but they're they're actually like really watching what you do well I think Japan is is one of the the best because of this kind of of genuine interest and you kind of appre they appreciate the the band that they're there playing performing for you in uh, in other countries it's usually like they people come there to just check out what's going on and get drunk and have fun and, and people are really 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 you know paying attention that may also makes you perform better because you're aware that they if you mess up they will notice it and um, here, for example, you know, if somebody like a bit solo, like eh, Ben goes a bit over, it's like ah, they're drunk, you know. It's it's, it's different. Fine. Yeah, it's it's more of kind of you know, you get kind of more discipline when you go there, and I, I like that aspect. There's something we've been going for a little bit more now, like trying to get pretty disciplined and uh, 
trying to make a be as good as we can and that encourages it because you know that the crowd is, is really like engaged and observing you and your performance. Well, um, actually we might have a, or might, it's soon gonna be confirmed a, a week tour of Europe. Um, it's gonna be super cool. And after that we're gonna start basically making a new record. Already? Already, yeah. We have to, we wanna release, we wanna keep a, a two year cycle, release every two years. And um, 2021, spring or winter is, that's where two, two years, you know, is from the last release, so that means that I have to get back into the studio and write new stuff. And and then just fit like we are also planning a tour, a European month tour for spring. And just fit that somewhere in between, but basically I'm gonna lay off work in uh, February or something and just go back to the studio and write a new album. North America, next year we would have hope to to make a world tour with this album which just released Wings of Fire but um, I think 2021 will be the year because 2021 early early year we will release a record and then we will for the first time in our history we want to make a actual proper tour you know session so we do Europe and we do Japan and we do US everything possible it's also it's a big investment to go to US because just only the just the, the or like you know North America the working visas are already so expensive that they're like you have to really 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 you know put put capital into it and now it's feel like it's it's worthwhile to do it because we have uh, we released a, a really we, in our opinion a really good record now and we make, a, make another one and it's just to promote this this whole thing it's been really hard before because we've had a, a hard time finding partners to work with and uh, and she t we had really bad luck with several things. We actually we were offered one uh, North like one American tour once, but it was a bad time because the investment was didn't like compute with uh, what we had cooking at the time. But now we would like to do a, a proper rotation year, so we make an album and then we actually do proper tours. So 2021, I would say, is the year. We're all we're always evolving. Music or inspiration is is it comes from the the where you are at the time. And um, at the time of, of writing Wings of Fire, I was in a pretty dark place. Most of the songs, you know, discuss pretty dark subjects. So I think now this record is gonna be maybe a bit, you know, mature or looking into to deeper because I have a really nice situation in my life now. I have a I have a good job, I have a really nice, nice girlfriend who's gonna, probably going to be my partner for life or he's going to be my partner, it's like it's a done deal and, um, and this gives a, a basis for a kind of a, a place to, to, to look deeper for, for what you want to say because you know when you're going through anxiety and a really dark place you're just it's really raw, you're just taking stuff out from I feel this way and I feel that way and now maybe there's like a chance to to look deeper into, you know, what I really want to say as a writer, you know. Well, I want to thank you very much for your time, and I want to congratulate you guys on the performance today because it was absolutely amazing. It was absolutely Cheers. You guys live. Thank you very much, and I hope to see you in North America in 2021. 2021, man. All right. See you there.